the biggest news of the day in in fact one of the biggest possibly news stories in the history of professional wrestling for the first time in 70 years a mcmahon will not run a wrestling promotion after months of speculation as i mentioned at the beginning of the show vince mcmahon word came out in the wall street journal in december that he was looking to get back into the company in january he made all of the moves that he needed to make to firmly put in place put himself back into place into the company with the under the guise of we are going to sell the company and there were many people that were quite skeptical of that just thinking that he was doing this to kind of push himself back into control but they did take on groups like i believe it was eli Lilly and some other uh groups that would help facilitate a sale so obviously something was up and now we know what that thing was which is endeavor who owns the ufc now taking over wwe and plans on merging uh if the sale goes through because again there are regulators that this has to go through there are stockholders for both endeavor and wwe uh that this has to go through but once it happens if it happens uh, endeavor will control 51 percent of the new stock that is created which just features ufc and wwe with the current wwe stockholders holding the remaining 49 percent share news of all this broke only hours before wrestlemania was supposed to night two supposed to start up on sunday this morning on cnbc both endeavor chief ari emmanuel and wwe chairman vince mcmahon spoke with cnbc reporter scott wapner in an interview that was taped on sunday at sofi stadium where wrestlemania was being held and he asked vince about uh, other suitors uh, being involved and vince pointed to the 20 plus year relationship that he had with ari emmanuel and said that he it, this is totally different than any working with anybody else wapner followed up by asking mcmahon why he felt the time was right to sell right now and long story short he feels as though they have not taken all of the value they can out of the marketplace and plans on doing that as part of this deal when asked about endeavor's purchase price of 3.9 billion dollars being uh, reported despite wwe's actual market cap value being an estimated 6.24 billion uh, Ari Emanuel uh, stated that he believes that there is a lot of money still left on the table, both as part of the UFC and WWE, and believes that they can maximize everything even further. I have listened to this noise like 300 times in a row, dying laughing. And I may go do that after the show is over, because this noise that Seth Rollins played sounded exactly like the mummy's voice that they recreated on National Geographic. Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> what? It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if I can do it one more time. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! The top comment on YouTube, I love when she says, ah! <laughs> if you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.